Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing some rustic farmhouse winter themed Dollar Tree DIYs. So let's get started. First up, we have this really pretty let it snow sign and I'm using this wood circle sign from Dollar Tree and staining it with this oak gel stain from Deco Art. I'm just squeezing on a bit at a time, then spreading it around with a cloth into the wood and I'm continuing to add more and more of the stain until the whole wood round is covered. I cut out this Let It Snow sticker with my Cricut and I'm sticking it onto my sign. This burlap and white chevron patterned wired ribbon is from Dollar Tree and I'm using it to make a bow for the top of the sign. I love that this ribbon is wired because it's so easy to bend it in place and keep its shape really well. So I'm making a bunch of different loops in a row and then also adding loops below to make a really full bow. I'm using a bit of hot glue just to keep all the different parts of the bow in place. This just helps it keep its shape even more so it looks exactly how I want it to look. This ribbon is so pretty. I think it really has that rustic farmhouse feel. These little snowflake stickers are from Dollar Tree and I'm lightly painting them white. I don't want them too white, but I did wanna give them sort of a light white wash. These stickers came with little circular adhesives on the back, giving them a 3D look. And I'm sticking those back on and then I'm using hot glue to secure them to the sign. Here is the finished rustic farmhouse let it snow wood round sign. Today's video is part of the five under five DIY challenge. It is hosted every month by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And this month it is guest hosted by CJ from CJ DIY. This month's theme is let it snow home decor. So make sure to click the playlist in my description box to check out all of the wintry DIY inspiration. The next rustic farmhouse winter DIY is this faux shiplap snowflake sign. I'm using an old Dollar Tree sign from a previous DIY. As you can see, it still has some of the remnants on it. I sanded it off as much as I could without an electric sander. And even though there's a bit left on here, I did get it as smooth as possible. I'm using this chalk acrylic paint in the shade Everlasting from Deco Art, and I'm covering the sign with it. Now to distress it a bit and give it more dimension, I'm using this acrylic paint from Folk Art in the shade Country Twill, and I'm lightly dry brushing over top of the white paint. I'm also going back in with the white paint again and brushing over top just to blend the colors together and not have any harsh lines. To make my snowflake, I'm using bamboo skewers. I'm arranging three of the skewers in a snowflake shape, then I'm cutting them down to fit better on the sign. Cutting the skewers with the scissors was a little tricky, so I just made a few cuts with the scissors and then broke it off with my hands. I don't want the skewers overlapping each other, so I'm cutting two of them down in half, then arranging them all on my sign. I'm going to be adding more details to make this actually look like a snowflake, but first I'm gonna make some faux shiplap. I measured my sign and split it into four sections and I'm using this other Dollar Tree sign to draw my lines because my ruler was a little bit too short. I'm using a thin fine liner to draw all of the lines. You could also use a Sharpie if you wanted thicker ones, just depending on the look you're going for. Now that my faux shiplap is done, I'm placing the bamboo skewers back onto the sign and I need to make the little extra details to make this look like a snowflake. So I'm taking another bamboo skewer and measuring out how long I want the smaller pieces to be, then cutting out 12 of them, two for each point. 
Now that I have all my snowflake pieces, I'm hot gluing them in place. Here is my finished snowflake sign. It's so simple, but I think it looks so pretty. It has that rustic farmhouse wintry feel. The next winter DIY is this frosty snowflake wreath. I'm starting with this grapevine wreath from Dollar Tree and I'm spray painting it with this Rust-Oleum spray paint in the shade Winter Gray, although I do end up covering up most of this later because it turned out a little more blue than I was wanting. I have this really pretty wintry see-through snowflake ribbon from Walmart, and I'm using it to make a big bow for the bottom corner of the wreath. I'm folding over small sections of the ribbon to make this bow nice and full. To keep it together, I'm using this silver pipe cleaner and I'm just weaving it through the bow and tying it all together. You could also use floral wire or a zip tie, anything you have around really. For the snowflakes on my wreath, I'm using a bunch of little sticks I had gathered in the fall time. I'm cutting the stick pieces down to size and I'm using three stick pieces per snowflake. Before I glue all the sticks together to make the snowflakes, I'm painting them with this white chalk acrylic paint from DecoArt. I'm not too worried about totally covering them. I'm just doing one coat, and if any of the stick is showing through, that's okay, because we're going for a rustic farmhouse here. I'm gluing all of the sticks together to make snowflakes. And then for the added little details on the ends of each of the points, I'm cutting tiny little pieces of the sticks and a skewer when I run out of small sticks, and then also painting those white. Here's all my tiny little pieces, and now I'm hot gluing these to my snowflakes, two per stick section. Since I didn't really like the bluish color of the wreath, I'm taking this burnt umber paint from Dollar Tree and brushing over top of the blue paint. I started with more of a light dry brush effect, but then I kept adding more and more and more until it was basically mostly brown. I thought all of the brown was a little bit too dark, so now I'm taking some white paint and brushing that over top, making sure to leave some of the brown poking through. And I think what I'm left with is a really cool frosty look, but without being blue, and I really like it. I think it's nice and rustic. I'm arranging my bow and all the snowflakes on the wreath, trying to figure out where exactly I want them to all go before I glue them in place. Here is my finished frosty looking winter snowflake wreath. The next winter DIY is this wooden snowflake. I have these craft sticks from Dollar Tree and I'm using 12 of them in total. To start with, I'm painting all the craft sticks with this white acrylic paint from DecoArt. Now I'm arranging six of the sticks into the basic snowflake shape and I'm hot gluing them in place. I'm taking my other craft sticks and cutting them down to make sort of like little triangle points in between each of the popsicle sticks that are already there. And this is just to create a nice 
snowflake design and give it a little more interest. Now that my snowflake structure is done, I'm taking some brown acrylic paint and lightly dry brushing it over top of the white paint. I ended up adding a little bit too much. I didn't like how much brown was on there. So I'm going back in with the same white paint and brushing over top of the brown. And this just gives it a bit more of a blended look. And that is the finished snowflake. You could either hang this up on the wall or a door, or you could lean this against your mantle. It's just a nice versatile wintry decor piece. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which of the winter DIYs was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.